All right, everyone, come lay down with me. <laughs> Next in our handstand prep progression is a supine hook lying pullover. Now, I did a more extensive video about this uh, where we, we really look into shoulder mobility. I, I tested a friend of mine, Cody Benz, his shoulder mobility was limited. I made him do this exercise while he was holding a weight and then retested his shoulder mobility and it improved, right? So that's one of the indicative tests that I've got a really good rib cage position and I can restore my shoulder mobility without having to put my hands on the ground, right? So if you're prepping for your handstand and your wrist is really uncomfortable, even with maybe the previous uh, exercise that we went over, the quadruped walkout variations, uh, this is just another way to train that, another way to get that rib cage position without stressing those joints too much. That way you can you can take a longer period of time to prepare your body for all of this stuff. Um, because, you know, sometimes those joints, they just they get sensitive when you put all that extra stress on them. So you got to kind of uh, gradually prepare those joints. And so maybe you need a lot of work on your rib cage, but maybe your wrists are not uh, not ready to take all the, the brunt of the work. So I could do a quadruped walkout, make sure I get my abs, and then maybe my upper body gets really, really tired, and, but I still want to train this core stuff. Well, that's where this one comes in. This is the supine hook lying pullover. Now, I am going to start here. I'm going to lift my tailbone up off the ground, but my low back stays down. And I can actually, when I push my tailbone up, I feel my low back in the ground even more. That's a cue for you to let you know you're doing it. If you do it with your abs, it looks like it looks like this. OK, and that's not what we want. I know we talk a lot about abs and positioning the core. That is not what we want here for the setup because that means you're not stressing your hamstrings. You're not asking them to support you, and those are necessary for all of this stuff. So if I want the right position, I'm gonna lift my tailbone up off the ground. I feel my back push down. I don't feel my abs engage so much, and good. So that's step one. Step two, I'm gonna reach my hands up, and I'm gonna take a big breath out. <sighs> Keeping that low back in the ground now my abs can turn on and that is okay that's appropriate now uh, it helps me with my forced exhalations so then it's appropriate um, next step on my inhale i'm going to let my hands i'm going to keep my reach let my hands fall back <sighs> on my exhale i make sure i find those abs one more time outer lower abs and then maybe I let my hands fall back a little bit more on the next inhale. And you can just hold that position. Uh, it's kind of like a plank, right? Except instead of gravity pushing my body down, it's pushing the, the middle of my body down, it's pushing my arms down, and I have to resist that. This is only challenging if you have it in the right position. I can just let my arms lay back here and it doesn't do anything for me, but I have a, a nice arch in my midsection. So again, it's not doing anything for me. So key to this one, get that set up, go step by step by step, make sure you nail everything and ensure that you're keeping those outer lower abdominals while letting yourself breathe.